Hey Taurus, this is a serious month of value, transformation, and how you communicate your truth. Put in your four ones. Let's go ahead and type those in. The opening of the spirit realm. Take a beautiful deep breath in and raise your vibration. Deep, deep, deep. You're challenging your human. Kissing your higher self and release. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to channel Taurus as spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Taurus, I feel like you come into December understanding that, you know, who values you, what you value, who you value. It's all about respect. And I feel like with your career, it's what you deserve. I feel like you know that your effort is what you get out. And I feel like... December is a month of transformation for you. I feel like this is a new beginning for you to really transform Taurus and to the person that you really want to be without giving a care of, you know, to whoever doesn't like it. This is a real strong energy of living life on your terms and knowing that people aren't going to like it but you're living your dreams and I feel like that is really important um, to you because at the end of the month you're able to communicate that and in your career and your finances you're marketing that so I feel like negotiating is definitely on the table of what your salary needs to be, what your pay raise needs to be, what your price for your, your businesses or your business products are if you're, a, if you're a business owner. But remember to stay humble. Remember that even though there was that shakeup that happened, be grateful. And we do that in our, just in showing gratitude and saying thank you. You know, waking up and just saying thank you for being alive. Just really taking that opportunity and embracing it and avoiding the sabotage because it's there, definitely there. You don't want to block your own blessings coming in and you certainly don't want anybody else to block it either. So keeping those negative energies away by, by showing the gratitude, really. And when you also are giving way to negative energy or pessimistic energy and you don't really mean to, it's in what you're not saying. It's in being grateful for what you do have instead of being so, I wish I had that and I wish I had this and, and being so fixed on the way that it has to happen. And since it hasn't happened in your timing that it won't happen, that's really where spirit, I feel, is telling you, you know, let go. Let go. Let God know that this is a whole brand new skin that you're transforming into. Okay? That old way of doing things. It's old. It needs to change. Spirit is asking you to do it. And guess what? There is an ascended loved one that's reaching out to you. Could be your mother. Could be a grandmother. It definitely is someone in the ancestral realm. That's reaching out to you and reminding you that you can do this. I mean, I can literally see them cheering you on and saying, Hey, yes, yes, you can do this. You can do Come on, come on. And I hear the word V. I hear v, v, Victor, Victorio, uh, Victoria, Vincent. There's something like that. Um, a name like that is what I'm hearing. But Taurus, this is an excellent time uh, for you to also receive from other people. Um, let go of having to do it on your own and being the one to 
be the rock. Sometimes you need a rock. You need someone to lean on. I feel like in your love life, this is the time to really let your significant other, even let your family, your children, your parents, um, just do for you. And how, and then I feel like at the end of the month, though, you really are learning how to allow community to unfold in your life. Like, how, how can you let others support you? How can you include people that you're connected to? How can you network and, and be blessed by it? So in your finances, for sure, but I also feel like in your love life, this is, um, and it doesn't have to be just romantic love. That's the beauty of unconditional love. It's certainly those definitely that one. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Um, it certainly is a platonic love. It certainly is the just the energy of unconditional love. How can you let that evolve in your life? Certainly expect powerful changes to happen with that transformation. It is going from something that is stale and outworn to something fresh and brand new. And so mourning that loss is one thing, but showing gratitude for it leaving because something new and fresh is coming in is going to be exactly where spirit wants you to go. It is time to move your feet. It is time to broaden and to get into more of a growth, open mindset in your love and in your money. But I do feel like, you know, staying too soon, staying too long in situations that have just outworn their welcome is going to be your commitment or your test rather. Um, and let's see how that's going to play out in your love life because this is certainly a time where you come into December understanding your value, just your standards, your requirements. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Healthier boundaries. Okay, so there's the red flags that we've got to look out for. Thank you so much. Being the advocate for children. And you don't have to sacrifice your values, right? You don't have to sacrifice your standards. But Spirit is, ooh, Spirit is asking you to evolve and not be so fixated uh, on one outcome here as you have embraced the moment twice. So really focus on that. How are you creating the opportunities? How are you focusing on gratitude in every way? Because what you focus on expands. And so enjoy the laughter. You're already successful. You already have that desired outcome. And commit to that. Commit to your vision and not just the process. So watch out for your red flags too and within yourself of needing to do it a certain way. And I feel like, you know, the tower certainly is coming in to just help you close those doors that need to be closed. And so the rejection is real. And I feel like the reason these powerful changes are happening this month, dear Taurus, is because it's just time for you to move out of your comfort zone and to be blessed by where Spirit is sending you. Because it's really big, huge, 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 huge changes. 
And that is usually when our ancestors come in and they want to comfort us because they see that, you know, we're in a, we're in a cycle of harvest. And spirit doesn't want you to not have your blessings. But it is time for you to move your feet, trust that source has the master plan right there for you. And that you are protected. Certainly. Um, for my coupled up Tauruses out there, my Taurans out there, I do feel like, you know, with children coming in, just remember to consider their voice. Remember that you are their advocate and you're speaking on their behalf, whether you have them or not right now, whether you are manifesting children, you're manifesting them with the right person. Um, this also may be where your children aren't telling you the truth and they may need you to look behind, between the lines and see what's going on with them. Are they okay? Are they afraid to tell you what's really going on? You know, um, watch their behavior. Make sure that they're okay because kids are really afraid to tell you. They can't just tell you certain things. And you certainly want to just watch how they're reacting around certain people, certain uh, situations. And, you know, if they're going through something that they, they can't quite verbalize, no matter how old they are. But embrace the moment that you're given each moment. Each day is different. Each day is brand new. The full moon for you this month really is uh, watch the children. It really is a culmination. It is a, um, a conclusion. There's some answers coming in. There's definitely some release of energy. So really watch that. Really watch the children in your life. They may be they may be holding your spiritual guidance in how you are to make it financially, how you are going to be more stable and secure and how you are going to how that project is going to successfully get off the ground. Listen to what they say. I feel like some of you, are going to be, I feel like some, and I, this may sound, I don't know how this is gonna sound to, to many of you, but what I'm seeing is that you are so focused on your project, on your business, on your income, and your kids want to play with you. But I feel like it goes against, it goes, it goes further than just being your birth children. I feel like these are children that are in your family, like niece, nephews, stuff like that, cousins. And I feel like you are just not spending time with them when they really want your attention. They have a high amount of respect for you. And you just kind of shoo them off and they say something before they realize it. They have no filter and it's the best thing ever because what they say alters you. It changes you and it allows you to really see how to let go, how to let God in and how to be grateful for what you don't have and for what you do have in a whole different frame of mind. And you're able to embrace the moment and really be blessed by it because that laughter that comes in with those children are the blessing. Like it, they bring the rainbow. And when you are so focused on I got to do this job. I got to do the work. I got to 
do I gotta figure this out, all of that, that's what's blocking your blessing. So um, I feel like our ancestors are helping you with that. And your commitment, I feel some of you definitely are understanding that it, you can't be with someone that doesn't want children. And some of you have children um, that I feel like your significant other or your, your partner, your spouse, the one you're dating has children that you two are really going to have to come together on. I feel like you're going to have to compromise there where the kids are concerned. And to remember that you can't be with someone that's not good for your children. You cannot. And I, I just feel like that if they can't, if they don't respect your children, if they don't, if they can't, like you may not, you may not spank and they do want to. And you're like, no, that's not going to work for me. Got to let that go. This is a change and I've got to make that happen. So... I look forward to hearing how it's going to play out for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But expect that powerful change to happen in your in your finances, in your career. Um, with the Hierophant here, this is certainly a good financial start. So let's just continue. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Woo! Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, good. Ooh. Lord have mercy. It's going to be moving pretty fast. Let's see who, oh my, who fell down there. Okay. There is a lot of masculine energy here, okay? So, I feel like, honey, whoever wants to be working from home, great time to do that. But I feel like you've got a decision to make if you want to or if you don't want to. And I feel like that decision needs to be made quickly. I feel like things just start getting, they start moving. But I also feel like you have the opportunity to be in a job working from home. doesn't have to be your own business, but I feel very strongly that that is the bridge into having your own business, having um, more than one stream of income for real and being the king at it. I mean, really, start your business, uh, Taurus, definitely, and defend that right to do that in your home by staying committed to the process. Um, this is such a good energy for you to do that this month. Use your resources because I feel like the, the job that you have are prospects. And I feel like some of you know that you could be more stable and secure with your money. Um, but Spirit is going to be asking you to kind of change your perspective going forward and just see your blessing. Be really careful, really careful about your narrative this month. Reaffirm exactly what your desired outcome is because you're moving. It is absolutely upward and forward energy for you that is so blessed. I mean, once it gets started, because it already, the energy shift has already begun for you. And it's going to be time for you to just change your perspective, 
go forward and know that your, your glass is half full, not half empty. I think that the fear here is, are you able to do it? Do you have the skills and the confidence and the spiritual gifts? Do you have what it takes? And you absolutely do. Let me just tell you that. You certainly do. And the fact that you're all heart love is working for you. It's you're you're all in your feelings sometimes and you're emotional, but you're but you are love and you just care so much about people, whether you're a man or a woman, but you're owning it. This is uh I own it. I'm the CEO. I am the leader. I'm sorry about the light there. Um, and I know what I'm talking about. So, yes, that is excellent energy in your in your finances, in your career. Um, remember to expect that, that beautiful change, that powerful change that's happening. And be committed to the process for sure. Move your feet. Pull from that energy right before yours and take action with the energy you're going to pull in from Aries. I feel like the environment is, the money isn't where you want it to be. And I feel like some of you really are on fumes. But, yes you see the window and I feel like you have created that opportunity and you've gotten yourself unstuck which is absolutely phenomenal that's where you want to be um, your commitment to the process honey I think if you have not started your business you definitely want to do that and you definitely want to be working from home look at your options because whether you need that stability of a job and you might be saying, I need a steady income. I can't do the business thing where I don't know what I'm going to be getting next from the one day to the next. Um, because your finances have just been so off, just know that the energy is there for you to continue to build that future stability and security. Keep nurturing it. Don't drop the ball. And that's why your commitment is being tested is because you do got options. You have options. But just remember also with this Four of Wands here, this is stability in your home. This is financial stability, security. This is excellent. But this is also traditional um, energy. And so just remember also in your love life, with that being there, uh, some of you want marriage. And you want to watch out for those red flags because if it goes against your value and your standards... Um, in your in your committed partnership that you might be in already in your marriage and um, if you're single certainly within your marriage um, energy you don't want to go against your own truth be committed to who you are stay committed to your children stay committed to your babies okay watch the red flags of when you are sacrificing any moments with your children for someone else or you are sacrificing their happiness certainly you won't sacrifice their safety um, I know that right Taurus you won't put anybody before your kids in their safety but you certainly are learning the lessons in your love life in your career and you are transforming into this amazing confident person that knows that they are intelligent and that what they are saying is the truth that you really you're skilled a lot more skilled than I think you've given yourself credit for and you're a leader you certainly, certainly are in an amazing position to balance your intellectual prowess and your emotional charisma 
loyalty, connections, network. Oh my gosh, you've got to be in network marketing in some capacity, okay? If you're not, you're missing out because this energy for you this month is certainly networking. And networking is not MLM. I mean, building those relationships with your customers. If you're not on social media um, and you're showing your, you're not showing your products, if you're not communicating out there, focused on business, remember, commit to what your goal is and you can expect the blessings to come in. This is an amazing month for you in both love and money. And so this is that in your love life, this certainly is appreciation and respect. And just know that you've got some more work to do. Remember that you know the solution here. And with the fear of not feeling like you're appreciated or valued, um, respected, you certainly have the energy here so you know expect the change to happen just keep going stay committed to what you want and allow your significant other to shift um but just be grateful start showing gratitude whether you're single or coupled up and i promise you honey that energy is absolutely bringing you what is on your soul to manifest because you certainly come into December knowing you deserve the best. All right, dear Taurus, thank you so much. If there's anything that I can do for you, please click the links down below. Let me tell you something, Taurus. I have, I'm sitting on a huge blessing that has totally helped every area of my life. So if you are open to finding out what that is that is helping me create generational wealth and everything else, then click the links down below and I look forward to hearing from you very soon.